Journal teamed up to make over a local woman. We received entries from across the state and we chose one local woman and took her from drab to fab. Take a look. Meet Linda Goldich. She's a local mom who hasn't changed her look in over 20 years. Ever since I've known Linda, she uh, has uh, basically had clothes that are way too big on her, way too baggy. Not only is Linda's clothes too big on her, but they're outdated as well. Last year I turned 40, so that was a milestone I had reached and I haven't done any updates to my wardrobe in years, changed my hairstyle in years, I just wear plain makeup. And we're about to make her feel a lot more glamorous. We really like that Linda had a story that we felt a lot of moms could relate to. She had recently had a baby and was feeling like she was letting herself go a little bit, so we wanted to um, kind of brighten her day a little bit with this makeover. Now meet our makeover team. Personal stylist Jill Marinelli. She's been wearing clothes that are too big. She hasn't shopped for herself. She's a perfect candidate. Makeup artist Kirsten Brucey. What Linda needs to do in the morning is sort of assess what's her priority for the day. Hair stylist and salon owner Michelle Scrobish. What we did with her today was a little bit more of a polished look. And Providence Journal editor Jenna Pelletier. We thought this would be a fun way to engage with our readers, do something a little bit different. Who will help us document the change. This will be a good opportunity for Linda to uh, experiment, uh, perhaps more than experiment, but to finally find a style that works best for her. First, the consultation. Jill gets to know Linda, takes a peek in her closet, and takes her measurements. Really, you know, the best look for anyone is a proper fit. Jill says that your looks are more than just clothing and makeup. Your style communicates a lot about you before you even say a word. Then, shopping at Macy's. Jill helped Linda learn what does work. We talked about the different necklines and the different cuts that really suited her body. Uh, we focused on open and V necklines because she's petite, so we wanted to really open up, give attention to her face and elongate her body. And what doesn't work? When we were shopping, we would see a few items and she would say, I have some things like that in my closet, and I would say, you know what, that's not the most flattering look for you. Now, on to the salon. It was important for Linda to feel put together and be able to walk out the door in five minutes. And being a mom myself, I know it makes you just get through your day a lot better when you feel like you're pulled together. And anyone can use these tips for a fast face. We did a primer, tinted moisturizer, some mascara, uh, a blush, and a, and a great lip gloss that she could just put on and run out the door. Add an updated style, minus 10 inches of hair. We decided that um, some face framing layers, um, some layers throughout and some highlight, low light would help jazz it up a little bit and it just kind of all fell into place. Um, I think she was just really, really ready for it and it was drastic but not over the top. So time for the end result. The look that we chose for this makeover was very glamorous. It was a little bit over the top, but I really wanted her to feel what it feels like to look that amazing. We just wanted someone to get the opportunity to see what is possible. I guess I don't, I, I didn't take that time to take care of myself at home, so now I'm motivated to do it. So what did her family think? It looks great. And we got like a different person. I like it a lot. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. My stepson actually said I'm with the times now. <laughs> Wow, Linda, look at you, hot mom now. How do you feel after that big transformation? I feel great. I feel like I got a big boost of self-confidence. Yeah. I feel I, like a different person. You look fabulous, and I got to say, I think one thing in particular is your hair. Right. How that was transforming. You, you have yeah. what they chopped <laughs> off with you <laughs> now. This is the initial cut. That is a lot of then, hair. There's another four inches on top of that. Oh, my gosh. But you have a great style, great mm. look. So. What, the tips that you were given, do you feel like you can maintain that? Do you feel like it's something that you can do on your own? Yeah, definitely. I feel like I got a big education from Jill, the stylist, telling me what clothes look good on me, what don't, doesn't look good on me. The um, hairstylist, Michelle, taught me how to work with my hair, and yeah. the makeup artist, Kirsten, um, helped me learn how to apply the makeup. So I feel like not only was it a makeover, but it was a big education. Mm -hmm. And you're a mom, so you, you kind of had to have something that was low maintenance right. in a way, is that right? Right, yes. Well, you look fabulous. Thank and you. you had some help here from personal stylist Jill Marinelli, who you're familiar with from being on the show. Now, Jill, something in particular, a challenge of yours that you had, we saw you looking mm -hmm. through, the, through Linda's closet, and yeah. one of them was the right fit and yes. how certain clothing, whether baggy or too tight, can actually 
make you look heavier. Is yeah. that right? Well, I, I mean, you can tell in the before and after. She looks like she's lost 10 pounds. Yeah. So when you're wearing clothing that is too baggy for you, it's not showing the curves of your body, so it's going to make you look bigger. And on the other side of things, when you're wearing clothes that are too tight, you're going to see all the lumps and bumps and rolls and actually look kind of chubbier. So fit is absolutely one of the most important things that you can concentrate on when you're shopping. And I know, I'm sure this is a problem with many people, you, you kind of get stuck on one size. Yeah. Should you not really have that in your mind? Because I know some things run smaller or larger. Absolutely. Than I mean, the vanity sizing now is completely out of hand. Depending on which store that you shop at, you can be a four, you could be a six, you could be an eight. It's all over the place. So put something on, concentrate on how it looks on your body and how it fits on your body. Don't worry about the number. All right. Now, Jenna, you were documenting this for the Providence Journal. What was that like for you? It was a lot of fun being a fly on the wall and watching Linda go through this process. Um, I saw her gaining confidence with each, with each and every step, which was great. That's amazing. Well, you look fabulous thank again, and, and thank you all for all of your help. Thank you. Stylists and hair stylists and makeover artists, and you look great. The transformation was absolutely incredible. And for more on the makeover and the top five tips from each stylist, check out the All About You section in this Sunday's Providence Journal.